Hi, I'm Kaylin Lapre with Mammoth Lakes Tourism, and today we have the man, the not so much of a man, <laughs> but the legend, Glenn Plake. Glenn, thank you so much for being with us today. Oh, it's great to be here. It is January 6, 2014 today. It sure is. <laughs> and this segment is brought to you in part by the Inyo National Forest that wants to remind you to leave no trace. So if you pack it in, pack it out. So when I'm out doing backcountry, I gotta like cover all those tracks, sidestep all the way up and Pack in all your tracks. <laughs> <laughs> no, Okay, definitely I'm gonna leave don't. some tracks out you there. You can leave, you can leave your tracks. And then the wind will come and cover them again. So you Speaking can of wind, <laughs> yeah, what? we haven't had snow in a long time, but we have winds today. We do. And we got mammoth wind pack growing. I'm watching people track up the mountain a little bit here. We got absolutely awesome velvet out on the slopes right now. And that's a common misconception is, super cool. is that wind is bad, but it's not. Not it's here. It's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> no, Here's it's drying it. things out and it's uh, it's really interesting. Really yeah. interesting. And um, you've been in the Mammoth area for quite some time. Yeah. Can you t give us a little background on your history in Mammoth? Uh, I grew up in South Lake Tahoe as a junior ski racer. Uh -huh. Probably came down here uh, for some junior races when I was seven or eight and I knew immediately that at some point in my life this is where I was going to live, this is where I was going to base. By the time I was a teenager I was down here more often than not. Um, became great friends with uh, Davey McCoy. He said just move down here dude. So I moved down here ended up meeting my wife. We got married over in Mono. Had our reception in uh, the June Mountain uh, Lodge there and been wow. in and out of the area here for about 20 years and uh, we love it here. The snow, the consistency of the snow, the commitment of the people to to make this the greatest ski area uh, in, in the U.S. as far as I'm concerned. And uh, yeah, it's an it's a easy place to decide to be based out of. And I'm a skier from California, which is a, an oxymoron. <laughs> yeah. It's like, what? So where'd you learn how to ski? There's I'm like, snow. uh. <laughs> and uh, anybody that's uh, never had the pleasure of skiing in California snow needs to come and, and see it, because here we are. And it's that's so why true. I'm here. I mean, I can choose anywhere in the world, and I choose here. It's incredible. I love it here. And Super cool. I'm glad to call it home as well. Yeah, the scenes are great, the visuals are great, the snow's great, and the mountain range itself is as beautiful as any of them. You know what else is great? Your mohawk. My mohawk, <laughs> my mohawk is tired. It's been up for it's like five or six days straight. It's been flying all through the holidays. I had the pleasure, we had all this beautiful spring-like weather. So one thing led to another. Next thing I know, I had a mohawk up and it was super cool. I was giving Wooly a run for money. It was like, St. Town ain't big enough for you and me, Wooly. I'm taking more pictures than you are, Wooly. <laughs> That's probably true. No, it was really fun. We had some good Wooly Glen Mohawk moments. <laughs> when did, where did the Mohawk originate? Uh, growing up, you know, raising canes, scaring the neighbors, and uh, also being a mogul <laughs> skier. Uh, we were supposed to be this, you know, when you're on the, or you're shooting for the U.S. ski team, you're supposed to be this little Ken doll with a perfect smile and perfectly blonde hair, and, and I wasn't. And I finally just quit trying, and, and finally, um, uh, one year at regionals, showed up with my mohawk up, and and uh, kind of I knew I was gonna do well, and I ended up winning the event, and there was nothing they could do, and it was like, look, this is the way I am, this is the way I'm gonna be, and I'm proud to say over the years, you know, we've we've uh, I've opened the eyes to people's when you're a mogul skier, when you're a skier, cross skier, when you're a, a downhill racer, when you, whatever you are, you're an individual, you're, you're doing this this thing, you know, and right. and uh, so I'm glad to say that maybe I've been a part of some athletes being able to let their, their, their uh, personalities come out from one, for one reason or another. It is, it's amazing. And we have some incredible athletes based out of Mammoth We got a lot of people. Too. And next week we some have the, the, the um, Grand Prix. The qualifiers are coming. We're picking the Olympic team next week. That's a big deal. It's a big deal. For, we have not the, only for town, but for the people, obviously. Dreams are gonna come true next week, huh? Yeah, I mean, we've got some insane athletes out of Mammoth, which we are so proud of. We have the Grand Prix next week, which is January 16th through the 19th. It's something you don't want to miss. We have 18 chairlifts open right now. We have 52 runs. Come up and watch these amazing athletes do some Olympic riding. This Absolutely. Is like and you don't even need to come up and ski. Awesome. I mean, the venue is right there. You can sit and hang out. The desert's yeah. dry right now. There's so many cool things to do in town and around town right now. Other than let's say ski on the mountain, right? And we have a lot. To you got offer. a world class event coming up, so uh, yeah, you can post up with the lounge chair and uh, scream and yell. They'd really appreciate it. I know that they would bring some good energy. Do your snow dances. We might have some snow coming our way this Thursday. So if you have to sleep on a 
spoon or throw some beads around. Do whatever you want. <laughs> we're, we're praying for some snow. And Glenn, just thank you so much for no problem. spending this time I don't with care us. if it snows or not. I'll see everybody in March, April, yeah. May, all the snowy months. It's true. <laughs> this is the beginning of winter. So, I mean, yeah. this is great. This is great for early season, and we'd love for you guys to come join us. Thanks so much for tuning into this Snow Conditions Report, and this has been your reminder that the mountains are calling. See you on the hill. Time to switch up to Suddenlink, where SL200 HDTV is only $37 a month when bundled with internet and home phone. Switch up to reliable HDTV with free HD, internet up to 10 times faster than DSL, and phone with unlimited US long distance. And you get our We Promise customer guarantee. So why be like 70% of satellite customers who are unhappy with their bill? Call 877-535-3242 and switch up to Suddenlink. It's easy.